Hello, so we're now going to be working on the peony. Now I have two here for example, so we're going to be making the pink one of these today. Now these are really big and voluptuous, beautiful flowers. So again, the peony is one of my most favourite flowers, so I'm really happy to have this in my collection. So from the uh, petals that we've die cut out from the pad here, so I have two of the larger ones, I have one of the next step down, two of the middle ones here, and then two of the smaller ones, and then two of the leaves. And I have some um, florist tape here, two florist wires there, some wire cutters, and some hot glue on standby. So let's get started with curling these up. So the easiest way to do this is to use a bone folder. And the detailing here is going to be on the outside, it's not actually going to be on the inside because these curl inwards, so we want all the details on the outside. So grab your bone folder and then we're just going to curl these right around, just as if you were um, doing, uh, what was it called, a curling string. My mind's gone blank. You, I think you all know exactly what I mean when you're wrapping up a present and you, you curl your string. Okay, so let's carry on to the next one. And if you want to, you can kind of go sideways just to give it a little bit of a different shape there. Curling ribbon. I knew it would come to me. Curling ribbon. Okay, so next next step down is this one here. Again, the detailing is on the outside. Okay, so I have everything kind of curled up now. I might have to do a little bit more curling on these bigger ones here. Just keep going until you're happy with the final look. start off now with the wires. So I'm going to add some wires to these two here. So I have a long one here. So this measures, this is pretty a pretty standard size here. So this is 10 inches. So I'm going to cut this in half. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these leaves over I'm going to add some hot glue just to this centre leaf here and then down the stem and then I'm going to add my wire to that and then set that aside to dry. Same on this one. Okay, so we're going to start off with one of the biggest ones now and I'm going to take my other wire and I'm going to bend it in half until I get a loop at the top. So I'm going to try and squeeze that loop as small as possible but I still want to keep the loop there and then I'm just going to take my pliers and then just bend this that way. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see what I've just done. So I have my loop there and I've bent that. That is going to secure into our flower. So grab yourself a paper piercer and just make a hole through there. So 
so I have a hole there in the center of the largest flower and then I'm going to pop that through the hole and then to secure it I'm going to add some glue to the base and then pull that through and that loop is just going to nest nest into that um, glob of glue there and we'll leave that to set so it won't take long at all okay so we're going to layer our flowers together now alternating the leaf, uh, leaves the petals around so that there's no obvious gaps now this stage should come together pretty fast Okay, so for the centre bit it can get pretty fiddly, so we'll do the fiddly bit before it's inside the flower. I've got all these strings here. This is going to be fun. Right. Let's glue these two together first. These two are the smallest ones. So again, alternating them. Just like that. They will naturally want to do that so you need to keep your eye on it and just keep it curved around as best you can while it dries and not not burning yourself either there we go that should be okay now now all of these have curled in and if you want to add a flower center I do have other collect uh, flower collections in um, the simple made crafts range that you can use as a flower center as well I believe there is one in the gable box so if you have the gable box which is on on the show today that would work okay so I'm alternating that one in there just folding in all the centers this is going to be a tightly compacted flower Okay, there we have the centre, and now we can pop these two together. So I'm just adding some glue right in the centre there, and then I'm being mindful of where these petals lay, so that I can stagger them diagonally together. Again, it wants to move to line up properly, but we don't want them lined up. And there we have our peony flower almost done now so we just need to add our leaves which should be dry now and also add our florist tape so this gets sticky when you stretch it but to get it started off I'm going to add some glue just to the base here of the stem and then I'm going to make sure this is the right way around and then I'm going to add the tape and just leave that there to dry for a few moments okay so that should be dry now so what you do need to do now is just stretch it ever so slightly as you curl it round and go downwards hoping you'll be able to see what I'm doing okay so there we have our leaves and these bend backwards as well you can bend the leaves however you wish when you're arranging and if you want to do extra leaves just with the wires on to have them separate so that you can just add them into your arrangement just for extra filler then that would be a really good tip as well 
Okay, so here are the beautiful peonies.